What's going on, guys? So the Astrolab from Arturia is here. And most of you probably know me from either like storytelling videos or like mini doc type videos or music stuff. So I'm going to actually talk about the Astrolab from a live player's perspective. My background is in production and also playing live a ton. So I grew up playing, you know, two tier keyboard stand stuff. And, you know, I have a lot of experience with the live sets and things that are going to be different. So this video is not going to be about some technical stuff. I'm not a journalist like that, but I'm going to talk about how it feels to play it as a live musician. So uh, let's talk about it. All right, so the Astrolab from a live player's perspective, let's play. Now, I think the Astrolab is really great for a person who creates in the box and then wants to take those exact sounds on the road, let's say, right? The first thing a keyboardist is gonna notice is how do the keys feel? And the key lap is cool because it's actually a little different. If you compare the black and white keys, they are not the same texture. The black keys, they're not as sticky. The white keys are very sticky. Typically, I don't like both keys being too slick. The second thing I think you're gonna notice about the Keylab is the, the UI, right? This is my favorite patch I found so far in the uh, EPs. This is called Sunshine Life EP. And the Sunshine Life EP is like a very smooth uh, road sound, but you can also get like, obviously there's ones with a lot more tines. This is called Simpler Tines. Right? You have the ability to do a lot of splits, right? So I found a, I like, look, I like EP patches. So I'm gonna play a lot of EP patches. But you can pull up splits and it, to do splits is as easy as holding like split and then pressing the key where you wanna split it at. And you can see all of these, you see this is one color down here and then there's green up here. Super easy to see where you're at. I love that, I love that. So you can also select like different artists, right? I mean, you have so many different ones in here, you can't maybe see them, but you have like Pink Floyd tribute, Gorillaz tribute, Journey tribute, right? MGMT tribute, I like MGMT. So let's see, let's see what's in the um, MGMT tribute. Oh, it's like the electric feel. I like this preset, right? So it's got all these patches like you'd normally see in a V collection too, right? So uh, right here, I've got a Prophet 5, right? All right, nice. Here's a nice little pad patch. But it will let me talk about some things I don't particularly like about the Astrolab. And the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the power supply. Now, the power supply is not an IC cable. It is a, it's a screw locking proprietary power supply, right? And that's great if you're the type of person who is always in the same place and not always moving around from place to place. But personally, if you're playing live, you're not gonna always have the ability to have the exact same setup. So sometimes you're gonna have one setup. Sometimes you're gonna have a different setup and you're gonna probably get your stuff stolen or you're gonna get it lost or you're going to leave it at home. That's one of the really good things about having IEC cables. If you lose something, you could just use something from, say, a speaker that you find or somebody's going to have something. You don't need to find the power supply specific to your instrument.
Another thing I want to talk about. So as an example, I'm on a brass patch, right? Switching between that and the full bowed strings is slower than almost anything else. So there must be a lot more processing power going on in certain presets. And while that probably seems like another nitpicky thing, having a lag, even the small lag, you're, it's going to matter in the moment. If you can't trust that the patch you're gonna go from one patch to another patch is slower than you'd expect. And that's just something you only understand with time and experience. Next up, let's talk about this big section over here and what you probably are thinking you see on a lot of other keyboards that would be for live performance stuff. You'd see draw bars or something, right? Well, you don't have draw bars. You have them as like key switches at the bottom. And here's the thing, that works perfect, except if you're not used to that. So let's say you're a, you're a church performer, right? That's not gonna make sense for you, right? You're so used to seeing the draw bars and stuff. And this is now an entirely new learning experience for you. It's a learning curve that's just added. And also the space is not necessarily big enough for say an iPad or something, um, but it's, it's the perfect size for draw bars. And them to not be here is kind of unfortunate, but I can understand this is maybe not as much that type of players, but more of a hybrid piece, right? So, a big standout feature for me is actually playlisting. Adding things to a playlist is as easy as, I wanna say as easy as it sounds. Holding down the UI with the long press and you can just go add to playlist. And I already created a playlist and I added a preset, right? So I just, you just go to your song and you can just add a song to a playlist and you can go to your playlist by clicking the playlist and you can find like, in my playlist right now, I have this pad. That's one of the things on my playlist, and then boom, Tokyo Dreams. In my playlist. But it's really perfect where it doesn't select it when you're necessarily over it. You can hover over it and wait. And then the next time, now you have your next song in your playlist. Now, obviously the thing that Arturia does better than anyone else is the synth sounds, right? Yes, they have the jump sound. I never learned how to play jump on the keyboard. Uh, I don't know. So you guys, yeah, that's the Astrolab. And I know that I'm bringing it to you from a different perspective. I'm not a journalist or a technical reviewer, but I am a musician, someone who's played live hundreds of times. And I think the Astrolab is for a very specific person. It's for the producer who's a keyboardist who also plays out with the artist that they produce for. The Astrolab has the ability to bring the exact sounds from the studio to the stage, which is so unique. That said, the, a lot of the things that a live player would think about immediately, I obviously think about. So I know it sounds nitpicky, but yes, the power supply not being an IEC cable, you're gonna get stuff lost, stolen, or you're just gonna forget stuff at home, and you're going to need to sometimes pull an IC cable from a speaker and use it as your keyboard, I mean, plug. I mean, that's just how things go sometimes. So also the Astrolab is brand new. It hasn't stood the test of time in terms of reliability. And that's the thing you need more than anything as a player. So until you can really say that you would select the Astrolab as like your weapon of choice, it's gonna be a tough thing for you as a player. You have to get familiar with it, but I don't know. Anyways, I, I hope that this helped. Um, 
I'm just a player. And uh, yeah, I mean, like, subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Twitter, y'all. So um, I'm out.